Hello, also in last video we saw how can we parse a JSON object using an IICS mapping. Now let's do a quick review of what we did so far. So this was our mapping and this is our source which is a relational table. Now if I go back, so this is my table tempxml and I defined this column 1 as varchar max wherein I stored that JSON object. It's just a single row right now, a JSON object related to Amitabh Bachchan's information. All right. Now this, this was our source and with the help of hierarchical parser transformation in IICS mapping, we passed that incoming JSON object and stored the data in these five different tables. All right. So if I go back, so what all information I was uh, having in my JSON object, so mainly the actor information, then uh, children's of, uh, related to that actors, then the notable work of that actor, then the awards, and finally the education. Now for each of these uh, tag, I have created a separate table. So considering this as a 3NF uh, structure, so this is our driving table or the main table and primary key of that actor ID will go into this child tables or related tables. All right. So if I go back, so this was our source. And if I, uh, let me run the select statement. So all that information got passed in different tables. All right. And since there is a one to many relationship, like there is only one actor, but actor can have different works, right? He acted on different uh, acts or maybe different plays or different movies. So that's the reason why it's a one to many relationship. Similarly, there's a one to re many relationship between actor and the child. Same way actor and award. Okay. Now in this video, uh, what we'll do instead of having just one object, we'll try to insert few more objects. So in my table, uh, I will have multiple rows, at least three, four rows. Okay. But before that, what I will do, I will drop my table because if I go back, this structure is correct, but this foreign key supposed to be, this foreign key supposed to be a second column and this should be a primary key that should be a first column. So I will drop my tables and I will recreate. So this is okay. I will have to drop this and recreate this. Drop table. And I will move this guy as a second column. All right. Drop table. I will move this guy as a second column. Perfect. Drop table, this guy. And this is the last table. Drop table. Perfect. All right, so thing is I just changed the order. I did not change the data type or I did not change the column name. So hopefully I don't need to re-import those tables. We'll see to that. Now the next task is, as I said, I need few more JSON object. So what I did, I again gone back to chat GPT and I pulled few objects. So if I go back, so we pulled the JSON object related to Amitabh Bachchan, but before that, I also had a JSON object related to Harivan Sharai Bachchan. So I'll copy that and let's go ahead and insert that object. All right. Let's insert it. After Harivan Sharai Bachchan, Amitabh Bachchan, I had few more JSON objects, uh, one related to Rajini Khant. Okay, let me copy that guy. Then let's take uh, one related to Jackie Shroff. And I don't need to miss actress here. 
I just I don't okay let me I did something wrong let's see what happened okay I will remove this guy this is fine okay and finally uh, I have, I have also taken two actress one Madhuri Dixit and all right and finally Shabana has me all right so I will just copy that perfect so if I run the select statement I have six objects all right now let's see if I run my mapping let me go back let's see how it gets passed I hope nothing will fail okay it's running It will have definitely more than 12 records now, maybe 12 times 5 or 6, around, yeah, 60 records. Okay, now let's see. What I will do is, let me go back and I will run the select. Perfect. Okay, so I have all my 6 records which got passed. Now, for, I don't know why that. Uh, spouse information is missing let me go back I will just quickly validate okay so spouse information is not available now that's the reason why uh, it's null the value is null but now let's see the child the children of uh, so we we don't have any occupation for actor uh, ID 5 so let's join so what I will do let's let's try to join this table so let's filter out maybe for uh, Madhuri Dixit so where a dot actor ID equal to 5 and I will try to join child table so now that join so AC on ac dot actor id equal to a dot actor id all right and since i need on need to see on the children information so i will do ac dot star okay so they have two children arene and ryan and that's their date of birth they don't have occupation is not mentioned now let's find out how many awards they got so madhuri dixit received aw on aw dot actor id again the relationship between awards and actor info is based on actor id i will use aw dot star okay now these values got duplicated now why these values got duplicated because of child so if i remove this guy perfect all right and finally the education that is at actor level so even if i combine this it should be fine a e on a e dot actor id a dot actor id and i will use a e dot uh, it might be because of awards there are one to many relationship yeah perfect so that is also basically for now in for this video sake we used uh, our, our temp table our relational table as our source uh, which is in turn storing the JSON objects uh, and we use that as a source right in our mapping but instead of this as a source relational table as a source you can also have uh, maybe web service transformation as a source alright so 
uh, you will pass some inputs from any relational source to the web service transformation and that web service transformation in turn will return a JSON objects not one maybe multiple JSON objects and those you can parse uh, using uh, hierarchical hierarchy parser transformation right so thanks for watching this video and see you in the next video